own subjects to the Templars. And of course, the African kings and their aristocracy are from that very same pharaonic descent as those ones in Europe. And the Templars themselves making one of those insider deals. The African kings made some great business in the slave trade and kept their subjects under very bad conditions as cattle waiting for octagons, slave trader ships to pass by and pick them up for some good old cotton picking. So please, my black brothers, it's not all of them, all of the whiteys doing this. I mean, the Irish wouldn't do it, would they now? No, never. So the white people too, they have been... We have been the slaves of the, the aristocracy in the Middle Ages and the feudal times, which was like the same thing, you know, going on. And uh, so there are secret organizations who also organize against white people. So my black brothers and the whiteies, let's get together and organize and get the real evil ones who are doing this. Yeah, right? Like Swiss emissary or grey eminence Phileas Valder, who went all over from India to China, Switzerland, the US and France, where he knew Eliphas Levy, another well-known occultist who made that famous Baphomet drawing and whose real name was Alphonse Louis Constant, changing his name into a Jewish name, though he was a Catholic, he was not Jewish at all. So here it says... And there he was a great admirer of Phileas Valder, at whose instance he was he consecrated himself to the demon Antichrist, etc. And here they talk about the existence of the Palladian Order, the Palladian Order of the Templars. Well, I'll show you the whole article here. Uh, this is about devil's worship. I'll put it in the links. It's about devil, devil's worship in France. It's some real dark energies emitting from Switzerland. And they're all over. Oh boy, these people can, can keep quiet. They keep silence. Oh boy. If you ask them, everything is clean and neutral and innocent. They never did anything, right? So here it is on Wikipedia. I'll put it in the links for you. This uh, Eliphas uh, Levy, there was a guy who draw, drew this one. Who made a drawing of the Baphomet of the Templars. Uh, yeah, well, I'll put it in the link. So this is a worldwide conspiracy all coming out of Switzerland and the Templars yeah related to Albert Pike Phileas Valder or the main man Eliphas Levy who was not Jewish at all um, yeah it's worldwide it's evil it's Satanist um, it, it all relates to Switzerland really <laughs> this is where it all from well, it says, you know, this, uh, the miraculous levitation of Phileas Valder from an immense distance, this occult personage having become tra transcendently cognizant of what was going forward in China. Well, th this is real, this th goes very deep. And it's the, the same thing the Nazis did, you know, they went into the occult. Uh, it's, it's everywhere the same thing. It's worldwide, it's occult, it's evil. And it's not only, and, and they try to, you know, to get normal people into their things. And, and that was, that was the, the, the task Albert Pike was going to do, you know, to attract other people. But this is the real force behind it from Switzerland. Albert Pike couldn't do these sort of things. Levitate and so... This was the real evil behind it. Swiss Phileas Valder and Octogon and the rest of this gang. Right, it says again in the original text. I'll put in the links for you under the video. All these men were members of the Palladian Order 
who were Satanists, believing in Baphomet, the devil, and that from the Swiss Phileas Walder, after three generations, would be born the Antichrist much later in the year 1962. And here we can read it. Here, Phileas Walder, here it says, so Phileas Valder, mortified and maddened, began to curse and swear like the first pope. The experiment disillusioned the assembly, and they thoughtfully repaired to the seventh temple, which, being sacred to fire, was equipped with a vast central furnace surmounting it by a chimney and containing a gigantic figure, figure of uh, Baphomet, in spite of the intolerable hate pervading the entire chamber, this idol contrived to preserve its outlines and to glow without pulverizing. Now, a ceremony of an impressive nature occurred in this apartment. A wild cat, well, etc., etc. Well, they, they, these are some real scary things, you know. It's not just politics. There's a whole different agenda behind it. And it comes all out of Switzerland. It's not, it's not just Albert Pike. The man behind, in the shade, you know that they they, uh, they are far more dangerous and far more important. And there's some more about the Palladian initiation and the adventurer. Uh, he Calcutta, uh, Phileas Valder, he was everywhere. So and here's some more. You see Albert Pike, and the Palladian right. Here's some more about what. Albert Pike and his Swiss pals were into, you know, yeah, the Palladian right and uh, connected to fascism. Very Swiss indeed. And indeed, the Swiss Phileas Valder had a daughter called Sophia, who became the high priestess of the Palladian order, to which also Albert Pike belonged. Thus, Pike's secret order of the skull and bones of the Arkansas University, being a Palladian order and sister lodge of the other skull and bones of Yale. Albert Pike was a lawyer and had been to the university, as so many men born into power become lawyers. So, you can read this here. Um, so, the reasons for her, her disenchantment with the Palladian centered round another high priest, priestess called Sophia Valda, nominally the daughter of Phileas Valda, a Protestant minister and high-ranking Freemason, but in reality the issue of a union between Lucifer and Walder's mistress Ida Jacobson. That's the woman they had the disappear. According to a prediction, Sophia would go to Jerusalem, where in the summer of 1896, she would, as a result of a union with the demon Bitru, give birth to a daughter 33 years later. This daughter would also have a daughter by the demon Dikarabia, who, after a further 33 years, so in 1962, would give birth to the, <coughs> to the Antichrist. So in these sort of things, these people believe in. I mean, this is, this is Swiss, folks. Yeah. Again, Sophia Valda, uh, Albert Pike. Well, just read it yourself, you know. So, if Phileas Valda's lineage would give birth to the Antichrist, it is only logic to conclude that Philia Valda was the important character here, and all Albert Pike, his right hand. Just as this very same organization had Adolf Hitler as their man in the lights to attract many followers, as followers follow the one that leads them as their leader, of which the German translation is the Führer. So you can read the whole article here, I'll put it in the links. Yeah, well, I'll just put it in the links, I The mother of the high priestess, Sophia, got especially chosen for that purpose and got rid after the birth. Nobody knows what happened to her. See the same Swiss cross here again, just like the one on the, uh, on the Ku Klux Klan. 
All in all, reminding us of that Frankenstein thing of the Eurovision and the rise of the or resurrection of that phoenix with that Eurovision logo of a diamond saying join us and that fits the square and compass. You see? Here you can put the uh, uh, the compass here. It goes on top here. And here is the uh, the square. That's why it looked familiar to all of us, you see. Well, I'm not sure if I want to join you in this, eh? Phileas Valder was a Swiss Luther Lutheran minister and a priest. And a certain Dr. Bataille describes him as the most disgusting and evil person on earth. Yes, the Swiss always have their dirty little fingers in it. As we can see here, Walder saying they have him Impressive goals, a half million men, primary in the lower Midwest, with the stated purpose of fermenting revolution and the expulsion or death of the abolitionists and free Negroes. All these sort of things. And here, the, yeah, so, out of this chaos, a new order will rise. This is uh, Pike saying this. Oh, charming, isn't it? And just as this Palladium of the Templars is related to the Order of the Solar Temple, also called OTS in French, where the Solar Temple is in fact the Palladium. And from 1994 to 1997 a wave of ritual murders through code O2T went through the Order, most of the victims from oh yeah, Switzerland again, but also some in France and Canada with almost a hundred victims and maybe even more, including children, who got all suffocated with a plastic bag for a slow ritual death to lift out the soul, as I explained in another video. Then, after they had a couple of rounds through their skulls and finally incinerated by a flamethrower. You can see that mass murders and suicides, it's in, uh, it's in Wikipedia, so you can read it yourself here yeah, about the mass murders oh real charming that's Switzerland and all this is the legacy of the Palladium Order of the Templars and Swiss Phileas Valder these are real wicked things going on and covered up by men on key positions and always Switzerland is involved some everywhere I mean, why do you think the Nazis were so much into the occult, eh? The OTS, even after all those wicked murders, still exists and have their headquarters in Zurich, Switzerland. The concentrated form of evil is sheer unbelievable in Octagon of the Alps, where the Swiss develop incredible high criminal energies beyond all imagination and probably not entirely of this world. And never in all those videos I felt such an evil atmosphere around me breathing in my neck as while doing this video here.